my name is Brian and uh, this is an update on my DIY 30 watt LED for my refugium. Uh, I normally use a tripod so bear with the shakes because I'm freehanding the camera today because I need to climb up on top of here to show you guys this. So first thing I want to show you is the refugium itself and this is the amount of light that my inexpensive 30 centimeter LED strips throw off and you can see there is more than adequate light for my refugium. So I'm going to go ahead and climb up here. I had purchased a different power supply on Amazon and had problems with it so um, it, it has been removed from the system and what I have put in its place let me see if I can get focus. So what I've put in its place is a 12 volt, 30 watt power supply from Amazon.com. It's pictured center of the frame right here. This was $12.99. Um, and as you can see, it works just fine. It is IP68, which means it is waterproof. And you can see here that the wire comes in. I've got an Anderson power pole, which makes it easy to disconnect. I also have a drip loop. And then it is plumbed into my Reef Keeper Elite system. And it's controlled there. Um, it is less than 0.2 amps of uh, power draw. You can see here my bus bars. I'll talk more. Let me see if I can get a better shot of these. So you can see the bus bars right here. And I talked more about those in the first video. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, what the correct uh, power supply can do for these LEDs. Um, total power draw is, is approximately 0.2 amps, 120 volt. Uh, so practically nothing. Um, the the uh, full set is a 30 watt draw. I also added some different tape for these um, strips here. The tape that comes with them wasn't all that great. And uh, so you can see they're just held up there with tape. And uh, this total project is less than $40, um, excluding the cost of the acrylic. So, um, you know, depending on what kind of acrylic you use, that could impact the price. I used some excess acrylic that was left over. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you have questions about how to build this, please watch the first part. And I hope you've enjoyed it.